Welcome. I am with the Individual Rights and Social Justice Practice Group of the Legal Aid Society of Metropolitan Family Services. Today, I will be talking about the resources available to the residents of Cook County. The information in this video is based on the laws and policies in effect in Illinois as of June 3, 2020. These may change, so please be sure to check the websites or call the organizations in this video to confirm the services they provide. Let me start off by telling you more about the Legal Aid Society. The Legal Aid Society of Metropolitan Family Services was one of the first organizations in the nation to provide legal services for the poor. Since 1886, it has been a pioneer in providing justice for all regardless of ability to pay. We at the Legal Aid Society of Metropolitan Family Services continue our commitment to securing access to equal justice by providing legal representation and assistance. We also partner with our parent agency, Metropolitan Family Services, to provide wraparound legal and social services to comprehensively address client needs. For more information, visit our website at laschicago.org. At the Legal Aid Society of Metropolitan Family Services, we provide free legal services for matters relating to domestic violence, family law, housing issues, elder abuse, human trafficking, wage theft, and victims of crime. All of our services are free, confidential, and offered regardless of immigration status or language need. If you think you may need legal help, Call us at 312-986-4105 for assistance. The state of Illinois has launched a website to disseminate information, resources, and the latest updates on COVID-19. COVID-19 testing and treatment is available for anyone that lives in Illinois including those without insurance and regardless of their immigration status. Please use the information listed if you have questions or need assistance with getting tested for COVID-19. The coronavirus hotline number is 1-800-889-3931 or you can visit their website at www.coronavirus.illinois.gov. So let's talk a little bit about the COVID-19 executive order. As we all know, the Governor Pritzker statewide executive order, which went into effect March 21st, has now been extended until May 31st. Yes, I understand we're in the month of June already, but as Chicago residents, we still need to comply with the following to decrease the spread of COVID-19. Residents should stay at home as much as possible, unless needing to leave for essential tasks or needs. Wearing a face mask is now mandatory. And we should continue to practice social distancing, which means six feet apart from each other. The COVID-19 executive order protects immigrant and refugee communities. Chicago residents are experiencing an increase on economic hardship, including lost jobs, reduced working hours, and more. The COVID-19 executive order ensures that all residents of Chicago have fair and equal access to benefits, opportunities, and services provided by the city, including anything provided as disaster relief to help by the COVID-19 pandemic. Mayor Lightfoot signed an executive order on April 7, 2020, explicitly ensuring that all benefits, opportunities, and services provided or administered by the City of Chicago are accessible to all residents regardless of birth, country, or current citizenship status. Now let's talk about the resources, food pantries. During the COVID-19 pandemic, our community is facing so many challenges. The Greater Chicago Food Dispository is working hard to respond to the increased need for food. Visit their website at 
www.chicagosfoodbank.org to get more information on where and how an individual can find a pop-up food pantry near them or in a Chicagoland area. On this slide, you will find a list of various food pantries around the Chicagoland area that have been confirmed to individuals looking for a food pantry near them, and most of these pantries are first-come, first-served bases. We have communities such as Little Village, Midway, Brighton Park, Mount Clare, Humble Park, and Albany Park. Food resources. If you are in need of assistance with feeding yourself or your family, we at Legal Aid Society can help you with applying for SNAP and a newly created program, Pandemic EBT. The Pandemic EBT program provides additional SNAP dollars to families who have school-aged children starting from age three that will normally receive free or reduced school meals. If your family already receives SNAP, you should automatically receive these funds on your lien card. If you don't already receive SNAP, you can apply for Pandemic EBT separately. Chicago Public Schools CPS has also prepared additional enrichment activities to support student learning while schools are closed due to COVID-19. These packets include a range of activities that students can work on independently or with help from an adult. New enrichment activities will be added bi-weekly throughout the remainder of this closure. For more information, please visit cps.edu. Also, families can pick up free food boxes at any CPS school. Boxes contain three days worth of breakfast and lunch for every student in the household. Food pickup is held outdoors. So for assistance, call 773-553-5437 or you can email them at familyservices at cps.edu. Emergency Child Care. A dedicated helpline has been created so that child care resource and refer referral agencies can help connect essential workers, families to emergency child care. Their toll-free number is 888-228-1146. And their text message service number is 312-736-7390. Immigration status isn't required for families assessing child care and emergency child care is no different. Neither parents nor children are required to give social security information to be eligible for child care assistance program. Priority will be given to first responders, healthcare workers, and essential workers to help them find and pay for child care. Home providers must be legal residents to receive reimbursement from the state under the Child Care Assistance Program. For anyone seeking emergency child care, residents can call the toll-free number from Monday through Friday starting at 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. <clears throat> Housing Legal Representation here at Legal Aid Society, we offer housing legal representation. Our LAS attorneys represent clients who are facing eviction from buildings with subsidized and from privately owned buildings. LAS represents tenants to enforce their right to safe and habitable housing.
The Health, Housing, and Economic Stability Practice Group serves tenants in subsidized buildings, private buildings, and with housing choice vouchers, tenants living in substandard conditions, and tenants in buildings going through foreclosure. To requ request services or need more information, call our intake line at 312-986-4105. Another organization that offers housing legal representation is Lawyers Committee for Better Housing. They provide free legal and supportive services to improve housing stability for lower income renters while advocating for the rights of all renters until everyone in Chicago has a safe, decent, and affordable place to call home. The Lawyers Committee for Better Housing help Chicago renter experiencing evictions, living in a foreclosed building, housing discrimination, an unresponsive landlord, or issues with your landlord that require the help of an attorney. The Lawyers Committee for Better Housing can protect your rights and will work with you to reach the best solution for your situation in terms you can understand. During COVID-19, Lawyers Committee for Better Housing is taking phone interviews, but you must call their office and leave a message at 312-347-7600. Now let's talk about the COVID-19 health care, getting tested. COVID-19 testing and treatment is available for anyone that lives in Illinois, including those without insurance and regardless of their immigration status. To find testing locations and for more information, call the Illinois Department of Public Health at 1-800-889-3931, or you can also visit their website at dph.illinois.gov slash testing. COVID-19 healthcare assistance. Who can get tested? Anyone with COVID-19 like illness or symptoms can get a test even without a doctor's order. As testing capacity expands, testing is now available for people who have COVID-19 symptoms such as a cough, shortness of breath, or fever, or anyone who has tested positive for COVID-19. A compromised immune system or a serious chronic medical condition. Testing is also available for those with or without symptoms who work in a healthcare facility, work in correctional facilities such as jails or prisons, serve as first responders such as paramedics, emergency medical technicians, law enforcement officers, or firefighters, support critical infrastructure such as workers in grocery stores, pharmacies, restaurants, gas stations, public utilities, factories, childcare, and sanitation. For a list of testing sites, please visit the website at coronavirus.illinois.gov slash s slash testing sites or dph.illinois.gov slash COVID-19 slash COVID-19 testing sites. COVID-19 Emergency Assistance. IDHS is dedicating $2 million in pandemic emergency cash assistance to Illinois immigrants, regardless of status. This project will be implemented in coordination with the Immigration Funder Collaborative, the IFC, and the Illinois Coalition of Immigrant and Refugee Rights, or ICER, who will administer the funds through 60 community-based organizations. The organizations will screen applicants for eligibility. 
In order to be eligible for cash assistance, you must meet the following criteria. Be a resident of Illinois. Have experienced an income disruption due to the coronavirus pandemic, such as a job loss or reduction in hours. And not be eligible for any federal stimulus, unemployment insurance, and or public benefits. Priority will be given to households with income below 200% of the federal poverty level. This assistance will not be considered in a public charge test. If you're interested in applying, you can text COVID to 52886 or you can visit their website at www.icert.org slash COVID Illinois. To view the list of participating organizations and more information for how you can apply. If you want to ask us any questions about the resources that we talked about today or have any concerns, feel free to call us at 312 986 4105. Thank you.